Now, I leave the stalks on for this. It's a decorative thing. You don't have to, but it sort of holds the pepper together while it's, while it's roasting. So I'm going to cut through, right through the stalk, so it comes into two halves. Um, once you've done that, just go right through the pepper. There we are. Cut through the, um, just under the stalk, through the, through the tough bit, and remove the um, membranes and seeds. Just tap them out. It's worth making the effort to peel the tomatoes, getting rid of that irritating skin, helping to create some of the best roasted peppers you will ever eat. This is the way I always cook them and have done forever. Cover in boiling water and the skins will crack, making them easier to peel. Just move these around a bit until you see the skin splitting. Just slide them off, dead easy. I've never made them with tomatoes left with skin on because it just, it just goes, wrinkles up to a crisp and uh, it is worth doing for this. That's done. And now to some garlic. Pop them in. Willy nilly. I like it quite garlic, I must say. So a little salt, not too much. Black pepper, quite like peppery peppers. Let's put the tomatoes in. Squash them right into the bottom. They're going to end up pretty squashed when they're cooked anyway. More pepper. And just the winciest bit of crunchy salt on top. The lovely olive oil. Let it go right inside. Gorgeous oil. Be generous. Looks pretty good uncooked. In fact, everything in this recipe is affordable, but it is worth spending a little more on good quality olive oil to achieve rich and rewarding juices. It really makes a difference. Provence in southern France produces one of my favorite of all olive oils. There are good olive oils and there are fantastic olive oils. It's a combination of nature and know-how that makes all the difference. All olives are green to begin with and have a fresh, sharp taste. As they ripen, they turn black and develop a rounder flavour, producing deeply fragrant oil. It's this combination of ripe and unripe that gives the perfect balance. They are harvested between October and December. It seems almost everyone in this region has an olive tree to offload. Local mills are happy to accept them from anyone. The best quality oil is produced by crushing the olives as soon as they arrive. This is the traditional cold pressing technique used to create all grades of olive oil from the everyday to the very special. Extra virgin oil made from the first pressing of the olives is the finest. I love it so much that I'll fry with it, use it instead of butter in mashed potatoes and of course it's perfect on salads and beautiful bread. My peppers have always loved their extra virgin lotion. And don't they look just fabulous? I can get quite rapturous about this dish. To make this dish really stand out, add a crisscross of anchovies. Their saltiness marries perfectly with sweet tomatoes and red peppers. The warmth of the peppers, while they're still hot from the oven, will just let them melt and give their flavour to the pepper. If you like, finish off with some aromatic basil leaves. Just feeling a bit decorative. Which one? I often uh, mess a shirt eating these, I tell you. Great taste, sweet, salty, oily. One of the truly great vegetable dishes. These peppers make a lovely light lunch 